What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So this is the second upload that we have today for the season six update. I did post a video a couple hours ago for the season six patch notes. Remember, this is the last big title update that we get for MW3. So if you want to know about the weapon balances, the new features and all the final changes that they've added to MW3, be sure to check out that video. I'll have it linked down in the description. This video is going to focus on all the brand new content with this update. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The very first thing that we have is it looks like the Orion camo has finally been updated. It took quite a while for them to update this but they actually ended up buffing it by making it a little bit more animated they made it a lot brighter and it actually looks like a completely different camo than the original orion that we had the other one looks like it was some sort of a wrap just added on top of the camos and it didn't really look all too good but this one actually looks like a mastery camo worth the grind but this is what it looks like officially now in the games if you do have it unlocked all you got to do is just put it on and you'll see the changes anyways the next thing that we have is the animated cutscenes are officially back in call of duty with the season six update we got a brand new haunting cinematic trailer which pretty much just showcases the new operators the battle pass skins and what to expect from that and the little like cutscene showcasing the brand new map and a showcasing of the brand new content but when you first load up the game that will now pop up on your screen you can skip it if you hold down the x button but anyways just wanted to let you guys know about that but going on to the next thing that we have is there's a new constellation camo that you can now unlock this one is called the constellations and you'll need to get an additional 300,000 xp on top of completing all the other prestige camos and this is now available and this is the photo or video clip that sledgehammer actually ended up posting just to showcase what it looks like the photos in the blog post that activision ended up showcasing didn't really do it justice compared to what we see here in this video clip but it is going to be a very big grind if you guys have already completed the other mastery prestige camo challenges it shouldn't be as hard as someone who's starting all over or starting from the beginning but this is now the available camo that you can get right now the next thing that we have is it looks like they're doing a playlist update so with the playlist update and the rotations that we have they've confirmed the first two weeks of this update are going to contain the rebirth island map variant so that's available for you to play right now and then the last two weeks they're going to switch it out and bring in vondo knight so that's what you can expect when it comes to the playlist rotations and then all the brand new modes that will accompany that for example zombies royale will be with vondo and all the good stuff that we talked about previously so that's what you can look forward to and expect they also showcased the haunting artwork just wanted to share that with you guys actually it looks pretty sick they did the same thing last year with season six so this was like the little poster that they ended up using they ended up posting that here once again but there's a new set of weekly challenges now available with this update and that will reward you with none other than the cat amr's new aftermarket part called the jack salvo and we talked about this previously leak we thought it was scrap but it actually is a thing and this fires anti material Material explosive rockets upon unlocking it. it has three bullets in the mag I actually went into private match and checked it out if you want to pretty much use any of these aftermarket parts early you can always go into private match and check them out the week that they actually release but you can see here that it literally shoots rocket bullets it does take a second so it's not like a regular sniper where you shoot at the person and they'll instantly get hit you'll have to wait a second until the rocket actually gets there anyways this is going to be the very first aftermarket part out of the three that we get so we got two more and then a new weapon blue blueprint and that will be concluding everything for this entire season anyways the next thing that we got is a new battle pass intro when you fully load up the game the first thing that it will do is it'll try to get you to purchase the battle pass for season six within that honestly i usually never stay on this page too long but it looks like they have this little intro where they showcase the battle pass operators a different set of artwork the new throat rip finishing move some of the death effects like the rip that pops up after you eliminate them and the little headstone and then just a bunch of other little short clips advertising and showcasing the battle pass but if you end up deciding to purchase it, 1100 cod points to get the full thing or 29.99 if you want to opt in for black cell but on top of this they also did a new store update at the same time and this brought in one of the new bundles so this is the very first brand new season six bundle that we have this one is called the Tracer Pack Arachnophobia New Weapon Bundle. This is the loading screen artwork, or I guess the key artwork that we have for that bundle. We actually got a photo of that. And then when you actually click on the bundle itself, you have a new operator skin for Void. This one is called the Promised Widow. She's wearing red NVGs that have a bunch of different like eye sockets to indicate, you know, she's a spider. And then when you take a look at the back, she also has a spider, like a big spider on her back, which sort of looks like a backpack. And then you got the rest of the operator and that's what she looks like. Then you get two different weapon blueprints. The first one is for the new weapon because it's a new weapon bundle for the cast off LSW called the Silk Spinner. It is animated. I believe the, uh, the little webs go away and then they come back. Not entirely sure if they do that on elimination or just while you have it out, but it 
comes in with the Web Weaver Tracers and the Spinster Slaughter Dismemberment. Same exact thing with the next one, which is going to be for the more Sniper Rifle. Same exact animation. You got the Web Weaver Tracers as well as the same Dismemberment. And then you got a new large decal called the Eight-Legged Mast, a brand new weapon sticker called the Webbed and Dead, a new emblem called All Tied Up, and then a new loading screen called the Spider's Patience. And this bundle is now available for 2,400 card points. You can expect that there's going to be the other new weapon bundle that we talked about before to also be added with this. But if you want to know more about the upcoming operator bundles and get early in-game showcasing of them, and that will be the third video that I post today, so look forward to that. But the next thing that we have is there's the new DTIR battle rifle, but it's apparently very, very overpowered. So Benny Central, credit to him over on Twitter. He ended up posting this loadout, and it appeared to have literally zero recoil. So I went ahead and tried this because I was a bit skeptical but when i did it actually literally had no recoil like the recoil was very minimal very easy to control i usually don't do loadout videos here on this channel i save it for the warzone channel but i feel like this is just so broken that it may end up getting nerfed probably within a day or two they may end up doing like a small update and actually nerfing it because the recoil it's literally non-existent i tested it out on the dummies you can also see me shooting in the wall the first time that i shot was me controlling it and then the second time is without controlling it and you can see that that it literally barely goes up so it really doesn't have much recoil to it and these are the attachments for the loadout if you want to try it for yourself so you got the sanctum 60 long barrel for the barrel then you got the quartermaster suppressor for the muzzle you then got the jack glasses optic for the optic and then the rifleman 200 stock and a 40 round mag so give this a try you can actually test it out right now in private match without having to unlock the weapon and if it is worth it then maybe you'll want to try to grind out the weapon and unlock it for yourself more than likely, this is something unintentional and they're probably going to end up nerfing it soon. If you guys want to unlock it fast, if you have a friend who has Black Cell and they already unlocked this weapon or at least a blueprint of it, you can have them load up zombies with you, drop it for you, you pick it up and exfil and you will automatically unlock it without having to level up the battle pass or purchase one of those new weapon bundles. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. Anyways, at the moment, because today is the first day of this brand new update, there's definitely going to be Easter eggs and a bunch of other hidden things going on right now that you could definitely expect and look forward to. Apparently, there's a brand new event that's going to be starting in a couple of hours. Double Weapon XP is also now live, so give that a try if you guys want to level up your Battle Pass, level up some weapons, and unlock that new Constellations End Camo. But look forward to the next event that goes live tomorrow, and we'll be covering all that good stuff when it does. But that's all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you found it informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button let me know what else you guys want to see here on the channel I expect the bundles to go up in the next video we're going to go over all the photos that we have the early gameplay showcasing that i can find and what to expect from the bundles and their prices but it's been your boy Chizel. thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace